So is this how we light a ray burn? Um, yeah, I'm also going to show you how to Lighting a ray burn is just like lighting a little fire outside. You just have to make sure there's plenty of airflow. You have to open the air vent right up. Cut lots of little bits and you just feed the fire gently and it puts some little bits in first. That's the biggest bit I've put in and I've put that on top. And that'll just start going. And meantime, I'm going to put a few more bits of wood and then fire them in as well. So, and this is the offcuts of the roof and trusses of our craft renovation and it's large from the local timber mill, local sawmill and um, we're making our own roof and trusses with this larch which is ungraded timber but luckily we've got a lovely friend who's a structural engineer and he redid the roof and truss calculations um, to work out the snow loads and just show that this wood which is not graded um, it's just as strong as the spruce but he's just made it just a tiny bit bigger so we've added on 10 millimetres which is not very much really to each roof and truss and that allows us to use local larch rather than bought in spruce c24 spruce and look at it it's beautiful wood it's going to look great when it's um when it's varnished up yeah we'll just sand the black off a little bit but it's just got a really lovely red reddish color to it that's local larch so there you go Finish up, said. accent and it's absolutely amazing and uh, finished mob you use this for like all sorts so building because you um, do like chiseling out the joins in your timber frame houses when you're building it and you can turn it around and use a back for hammering in your nails 
and because it's socketed it just protects the handle so that means you can actually use it as a hammer which you shouldn't really do normally um, but because this is a finish axe you can and uh, you can use it for splitting it's like if you look at its side on you'll see it's kind of a bit like a, it's not too zoomed in no that's super cool <laughs> it's a splitting axe and you can use it for felling trees as well and uh, if it was only going to have one axe it'd probably be one with it <laughs> Did you need all the chain and all the clapping and, and all of you put the first uh, truss up? Um, no, but I've seen it and I appreciate it. it's a milestone and it looks amazing and well yeah. done. And I'm here to help you celebrate. This is a big roll went up and applause yeah. <laughs> and clapping and everything else. I thought that was the idea of the, of the widget inside it. Yeah, I'm just copying what I've seen other people do because I'm not. I've always bought Guinness original. Yeah. No, so. point, no point me inventing the wheel. But how do you do it then? Just get open it. <laughs> I don't like drinking Guinness out the can. It tastes metal. Thank you. 